And this episode is sponsored by Shaker and Spoon. Shaker and Spoon is a monthly cocktail subscription box that delivers the craft cocktail experience right to your front door. Each monthly box arrives with three original recipes created by world-class bartenders that you really can't get anywhere else. With Shaker and Spoon, you no longer need to seek out hard-to-find cocktail ingredients or buy full-size bottles of things that you'll end up using only once. This is the most convenient alternative that I've ever seen. Shaker and Spoon introduces you to spirits and flavor combinations you may have never discovered otherwise. So the next time you're entertaining friends or your significant other, you can whip this out, break out a complex drink with simple, easy to follow instructions, show off a little bit and learn new techniques while creating an excellent craft cocktail. You guys know me, you know I like to have a little drink to unwind and I enjoyed each and every one of these cocktails that came in this box. They were absolutely delicious and I want you guys to give it a try. So click the link below and use the code HAPPEN at checkout or go to shakerandspoon.com slash happen for $20 off your first box and get the party started. That's Shaker and spoon.com slash happen or just click the link below and use the code happen for twenty dollars off your first box what's up guys welcome back the super bowl is right around the corner and i know you guys need some more appetizer recipes for the big game today i'll be showing you how to make garlic parm chicken wings but before we do that please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well all right guys meet me in the kitchen let's make it happen first things first i'm going to show you guys how to save some money at the grocery store typically these whole wings are a little bit cheaper per pound than the already sectioned wings so if you grab these, you can just do the work yourself and save the wing tips to make a delicious chicken broth. And it's super easy. All you need is a nice sharp knife. You're gonna find the joint here on the wing and just slice right through it. And it separates the drum and the flat. Speaking of the drum and the flat, guys, let me know in the comments what you prefer. I'm an equal opportunity wing eater. Once you've done this a few times, you kind of find a rhythm and really just roll through these chicken wings pretty quickly. You can part them out like you see right here. You got your drums and your flats. We're going to clean these up to make sure we don't have any bone or cartilage, anything that can damage our teeth. And that's super important, guys, because we saved a little bit of money at the grocery store, but you're going to give that money right back if you have to go to the dentist. Quick shout out to my boy Chef Tobias for this beautiful chef knife that he gave me. You guys have probably seen him on Guy's Grocery Games, and you might just see him on this YouTube channel here soon. All right, enough running my big mouth. It's time to get back to work. We're going to add those chicken wings to a mixing bowl and cover them with some cold water. Get in there with your hands and just make sure you get rid of any bone fragments or cartilage that may be left behind from when we section these out. And once we've protected our pearly whites, it's time to dry these chicken wings up. We want to put them on a paper towel like you see right here. And we want to dry these as thoroughly as we can. It's important because it's going to help the wings get nice and crispy. A dry skin ends up being a crispy skin, and that's what we're going for. So take your paper towels like you see right here. Just be very intentional about it. Press down firmly and just make sure you dry the wings as best you can. You can also place them uncovered in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. That'll help them air dry also. That's another technique that you could try. Quick reminder, guys, that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe are provided in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Once we have our wings nice and dry, it's time to season these up. We're gonna add them back to a mixing bowl. We're going down with a combination of my original and my hot all-purpose seasoning. And if you haven't tried that yet, you can get yours via the link in my description box, or just use whatever your favorite seasoning is for chicken wings. A blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder would work. You can throw in some cayenne pepper or some red pepper flakes if you like a little bit of heat. Just make sure you season them up thoroughly and evenly. So get in there with your hands and make sure that they're evenly coated, like you see right here. And then we're gonna throw these in the air fryer today. So I'm gonna hit them with a tablespoon or two of cornstarch to help them get nice and crispy. You can do this method in the deep fryer or the oven, whatever you prefer. But today we're breaking out the air fryer. I know you guys asked for some more air fryer recipes and chicken wings are one of the absolute best things to throw in the air fryer. So once our wings are seasoned to perfection, we got the cornstarch on there. We're gonna set them aside and get started on our garlic parm sauce. We're going in with one stick of butter into the mixing bowl. We're gonna pop that in the microwave for about five to 10 seconds just to start the melting process. We're gonna dice up a little bit of parsley, about a quarter cup or so in total. For this particular recipe, it's important to make sure the parsley is diced nice and fine. Fine. You want really small pieces, so take your sharp blade and run it over the parsley a number of times back and forth until it's a nice fine dice like you see right here. Another quick reminder, guys, that all the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. There we go. We got our parsley prepped and ready. We got our butter partially melted. Next, we're going to go in with some fresh garlic because we are making garlic parm, right? So I'm taking out the garlic press. We're going to crush like two to three cloves of garlic or so. It really depends on how much you want the garlic flavor to be present. You can add a little bit of extra garlic if you want to. You could also use minced garlic or the garlic paste that you see me use all the time. We're also going to season this up. You could hit it with a little salt and pepper or my all-purpose seasoning or throw whatever your favorite all-purpose seasoning is in there too. We're going to add some of that parsley. 
We're going to add about a quarter cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese or store-bought grated Parmesan cheese, whatever you feel like doing. And then we're going in with some crushed red pepper flakes for color and a little bit of spice because I like the spice that it brings. But it also is a real pretty color in there with the green and the red and all that good stuff. So we're going to mix that together. Taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. You want a nice paste-like consistency like you see right here. The residual heat from the wings when they come out of the air fryer is going to melt this into the perfect sauce consistency that you want for your wings. We're going to fire up the air fryer. This is a Ninja Foodie. We're going to set it for 390 degrees. Spray it down with some vegetable oil. These wings are going to cook for about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how large your wings are. And now we're going to go ahead and nestle those chicken wings into the air fryer. Make sure they got some elbow room. You want the air to be able to circulate around them. So you want to have some spacing in between each chicken wing. And my preferred method when I'm making these in the air fryer is about 15 to 20 minutes on 390. I like to flip them every five or six minutes to make sure they're getting golden brown and crispy. In the beginning, I also like to spray them with a little vegetable oil. That's going to help them get nice and crispy as well. Here you see we're just going to go ahead and give them a flip. It's been about five or six minutes at this point. You want to make sure that they're cooking evenly and browning evenly. If you see that your air fryer has a hot spot, because I know all air fryers are a little bit different, you just want to keep an eye on them. If you see one wing is cooking more than the other one, you can rotate them around a little bit. There we go. We got our wings flipped. We're going to go ahead and shut the air fryer, let the air fryer do its thing. This is what we're looking like about halfway through. We're going to rotate and flip one more time. As you can see, we're getting some beautiful color on these wings. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. That's a beautiful drum. You guys know I'm a drum man, but I like them both. This is a great time for me to remind you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, please, and enable notifications. Let me know in the comments what other recipes you want to see as we're heading into Super Bowl Sunday. Oh, man, these wings are looking good. I can't wait to douse them in that sauce. And that, my friends, is how we're looking right before we remove them from the air fryer. They're all golden brown and crispy. Got a beautiful color, nice and even. Here's our garlic parm sauce that we got in a mixing bowl. We're going to add those super hot wings fresh out of the air fryer right into that sauce. The residual heat is going to help melt that sauce into the perfect consistency. As you can see right here, we've added them to the sauce. Now we're going to give them a toss. It's almost time to plate these up. I could go for about a 10 piece of these right now. I'm also going to hit them with a little freshly grated garlic because why the hell not? We want a little extra pop of garlic flavor in there. A little bit more parsley, a little bit more Parmesan cheese. And that, my friends, is the world's best garlic parm chicken wings right there. Can't wait for you guys to try this recipe. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going down with a little bit more Parmesan just for garnish and for the thumbnail. I'm also going to hit it with just a pinch of red pepper flakes for the color and a little bit of heat. And now, my friends, brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Say it with me, guys. Looking good. Going in for the taste test. These wings definitely deserve to be on your Super Bowl Sunday menu. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give your boy a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.